All right, it's time to take some of your questions, so let's jump right into them. Thoughts on sources saying Taylor Swift will perform at the 2023 Super Bowl. Are you a T-Swift fan? No, I am not a T-Swift fan at all. I used to be when I was young, and she pretended to be a nice girl that sang country music. Um, But I think that she really showed her hand in the situation with Kanye when her fans, I don't know if you followed the situation, uh, but she's still clearly, obviously, a mean girl that pretends to be nice. And there was a situation that happened a few years ago where Kanye released a song, and in the lyrics, he said, I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex. That was the exact lyric. I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex. And when this song was released, her Swifties, is what she calls her fans, were so upset about it. They were like, how dare you talk about Taylor Swift like that? And they were angry and expecting her to react and say, this is misogyny, this is sexism, blah, blah, blah. Well, she gloriously releases this statement, basically abiding by her fandom and saying, like, this is horrible, this is racist, this is misogynist, I didn't, this is not okay that Kanye West said this. And then Kim Kardashian, in a moment of playing, which I respect her for, of this is like, this is my husband and you are lying about what happened said that Taylor Swift approved the line in that song because Kanye considered her a friend and he called her up and he told her, hey, I'm going to drop this song. I want you to hear this this lyric. And she was like, I love it. I love it. Well, unfortunately for Taylor Swift, Swift, Kanye West records his entire life. Like he just has a, a, you know this now because I think there's a Netflix documentary of this, um, Yeezus. Oh no, actually it's called... uh, Genius, that's right, an Alpha documentary, he always has a videographer around him. So they actually captured the moment that he called Taylor Swift and she approved the line. And so um, Kim Kardashian released it on Snapchat, on Snapchat, and that really showed you just how calculating Taylor Swift is. Like it was more important for her to keep her fan base than to simply tell the truth and say, hey, I heard this line, I was okay with it because of blah, blah, blah. And then she was embarrassed and sort of went away for a year because everyone realized that uh, she was a snake and that she was willing to sell people under the bus for more fame and for money. I also don't like her because she used the country music scene, as many of them do. She actually thinks country music fans are backwards and racist and horrible. She's really a girl that's from Pennsylvania and grew up with a tremendous amount of wealth, but she kind of sells to you that she's like this country girl for a little bit. Then she gets the fame she wants and she's off into pop land. And now she's like, oh, you country fans don't understand you're backwards and racist. And she uses her platform for a bunch of leftist causes. But let me tell you how I really feel. Just kidding. What are your thoughts on Princess Diana? I think that she liked the press from all accounts. I think that she liked to be in the public eye And I don't know if what we're learning via The Crown is correct, so it's hard for me to comment on it. But I do know that people that knew her at the time have said that she really did love the press and she loved to have the cameras behind her. Obviously, it's sad that her life ended so tragically. And I do think that if she was alive, she would be able to help Prince Harry realize that he is married to a person that he should not be married to. Like, if he can't see the writing on the wall that she is trying to embody his mother, even when he told a story about how she said she was going to commit suicide while she was pregnant and that she was having suicidal thoughts. And you can see in everything that she does, she tries to put this pressure on him of like, well, look what happened to your mom. Like, that could happen to me unless we do exactly what I want, which is to move back to Los Angeles and to be the A-list actress that I never was and to be in those circles. And I think that she's manipulated him using the death of his mother, which is so creepy and so scary. And I think that he's got some weird maternal syndrome with her and that he thinks that he can somehow save his mother by doing everything and making sure that um, Megan is happy which completely creeps me out. There's actually, I think that's called Freudian transfer. There's actually a real psychological phenomenon and Prince Harry should probably figure that out. But who am I? Who am I to judge them? Why have they not released Epstein's list? Because they're on it. Duh. (laughs) They're on the list. You can't release what you're on. Um, Obviously, the Epstein story is one of the most fascinating ones of our time in terms of the corruption in... Uh, our justice system, right? You have a justice department that just did everything they possibly could to not prosecute him. 
And then when a lone reporter forced them essentially to have to re-examine this, they did everything that they they could uh, to cover everything. I mean, it doesn't make sense that we don't have access to that clientele list. It just literally does not make any sense. It defies logic. And the only possible and plausible answer to why we had no access to it is because there are some extremely powerful names on it. Extremely powerful as in the people that are behind the biggest corporations on earth, the NGOs. Uh, we know that Bill Gates was on the Lolita Express, individuals of that nature. And it remains to be seen what will happen to Ghislaine Maxwell. Is it too early to say that she didn't kill herself? It's probably too early. Sunny Hostin just said on The View, it's so interesting to me that there are so many Latinos that vote Republican because they vote against their own self-interest. If you really are interested in these types of issues, then you're a Democrat. What is your reaction? I, my honest reaction to Sunny Hostin is I don't think people realize that she is tremendously low IQ. Like there is no question in my mind that she is tremendously low IQ. She says things that are so beyond stupid that you can't even waste your time trying to sort out what she said or why she said it or how it could make sense. You know, this is the woman who just last week was yelling at, um, was upset that Nikki Haley calls herself Nikki. Nikki is her middle name. And yet she doesn't use her own real name. Sunny doesn't use her own real name. She doesn't, she just says stuff. And I think she says it for a reaction and we keep making the mistake of giving it to her. I mean, obviously Latinos, especially if you're talking about, if you're just talking about the Spanish speaking community and you're talking about Cuban, they understand what socialism is. They're not dumb. If you're talking about people that are in South America, then you're talking about a tremendously faithful community that you want to get on board with atheism, right? Why would the Latino community get behind uh, the atheist leftists? Uh, that hate people that have faith. You know, the Bible Belt Christians, as they like to refer to us colloquially, the Bible Belt Christians are at it again. Um, and they view themselves as gods. They view themselves as, oh, being progressive and looking forward into the future. And the truth is, is that the South American community likes tradition. Um, and so I do think that even though they are banking on Latino Americans coming over the Democrat side, that Latino Americans at the end of the day are too smart for that. And I think the numbers prove that when you see how many of them voted for Trump in the 2020 election. All right, guys, the next portion of the show is going to be available exclusively on Daily Wire Plus. I'm going to be talking about how some states are quietly legalizing the composting of human remains. So if you're not a member yet, go ahead and click the link in the description and subscribe right now.